Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding conversion of a flat model to a star model. So when you get the data source, there might be different ways or different models you will be getting. Some might be exactly like star schema model. Otherwise, it might be snowflake schema model. Some will be using a relationship or in a way like ER diagram model. But there will be some files that you will be getting which won't, have, which won't be having any relation or which won't be having any tables related to the other tables only they will be having only one flat file table that means in this diagram you can see this is the flat file all the data are being entered into just one table so with this we won't be able to make meaningful relationship or meaningful visualization with respect to this flat file so we need to change this flat file to star schema model so in this video we will be seeing how the, we can convert this flat file model to star schema model so as we have already mentioned a flat file database is usually one table with rows of information it stores all data in a single table all the data will be simply gathered into one single table so it will be difficult to analyze this data so you can you need to convert it to the star schema model divide this table into three or four forms like you can you can have a category table or you can have a product table inside that you can have the category name everything and product name at the same time you can have a customer table so since customer name is there and you need to relate it everything with the sales table sales table means okay you need to take out all the numerals from this table all the numerals will go to the sales table that means uh, price per quantity price per unit the quantity and sales all these you need to put it in the fact table because our fact table should contain all the numerals all the aggregations and the remaining you can distribute it into three or four dimension tables so since customer name is there you can have a customer table since product name and category name is there you can create a dimension of product table since the country and city are there you can make a location table and of course both the dates are the delivery date as well as shipping data are there so you can make it as a dimension table easy for us to analyze with respect to the date so you can create a calendar table usually in this video we will be creating this uh, dimension of customer product and location using i mean power query and uh, this calendar we will be creating using uh, dax it will be very easy to create a dax version just calendar auto you can create so it will get the minimum from any of the delivery date or shipping date and the maximum from both the table so there won't be any confusion between it so first what we will do we have a data set here that is a flat, flat file so we will convert it into the star schema so if you take the model view so you have just one pile here you have only one table or you have only one query here so we will go to transform data so as we are going to create the star schema model there is no need for a flat file after that so we need you can right click here and you can disable the load so no one was this flat file this flat model won't be shown in the model so we can take the reference of it better to take the reference because whatever this is our source file this is our source file so whatever manipulations have been done in the source file so if you are taking the reference file that will be reflected in the reference file also otherwise if you are using the duplicate so no that link will be totally gone and you won't be able to update whatever is happening in the source file so better to take the flat file and we can change the name as customer dim customer and we will get only the customer name remaining everything we will be we will delete it you can select customer till sales category name till sales you can use a shift key and you can select it and you can just delete it remove columns or you can use the remove column here now we can take the customer name email address only this much we need of course postal code also we will take remaining everything we are going to delete it because we need only the customer details now since we got all these things we need to make sure that okay the customer should not get repeated there should not be a duplicacy duplicate value sometimes two people will be having the same name but they won't be having the same email id so what we can do is that we can select the email id and we can remove the duplicates from email id so this will be created the customer table is created but uh, you have, since you need to have a relationship with the fact table you need to create a column here so we can create an index column this is actually the this is the use of index column because that should give meaningful name meaningful way for a relationship to have with the fact table so we can rename it as customer id 
this customer id will be related to the fact table so we are going to take the next one once again we are going to the source file and we will take the reference of it now we will change the name to tim products because we need to take the, get the dimension of product table so we will be deleting everything here we will remove the column we need only product name category name remaining everything we will remove it so since we got the product name and category name once again we need to check whether duplicate should not be there so remove duplicates for product names so only this much products are there so here also we need to create an index column so that we can relate this dim product to fact table if, we, if you are not getting any idea of what we are, we are doing with the index column once we create the fact table we will be knowing it better so you can rename it as product id and once again we will select the source data and we will create once one more reference and we will name this reference as location so dim location and in this dim location we need only city and country so instead of selecting one by one column we can just select city and country and we can give remove other columns so we got city and country and we will remove the duplicates of from the city and once again we will create an index column to make a city id for it we'll drag it to the first column and we will rename it as city id now the we got all the three dimension tables now we need to create the fact table so once again we can take the reference and we can rename it as fact sales so here what we need to do you need to be very careful dealing with this fact sales because here we are going to give the relationship with all this dimension table and then we will be deleting lots of columns now if you go and close and apply to this query and if you see in the modeling if you see in the modeling you can see everything is been related without us relating of course it will auto relate if you want to change that you can go to the settings and you can take the option off but since if you see city is been linked with city name itself so that is not a right way of relating two tables you need a, an id to relate it so you need this city id to be related to this column that means this city id should be taken to this column this table also should be having the city id so how you can make this table also have that city id by using merge query so we can go to transform select the fact sales and first we will relate with customer dim customer so we will merge queries we are going to merge it in the current table itself if you want to merge it into a new table you can select this and merge query as new you can select now we are going to merge it in the same table so you can select merge and which one you are going to merge so we are going to merge with customer name so here also we will select the customer table we will select the customer name so all the rows are matched we are going to select the left outer because we are going to concentrate on fact sales we are not going to concentrate this is the first table that means this is the left table and this is the right table fact sales is the left and customer is the right table so we are going to concentrate on the left table so we are going to get the left outer join because we need all the data from the left table that's why we are going to we are concentrating on the left table that's the reason why we are selecting the left outer join and we can select okay here so in the end we are getting this table here you need to select the necessary values we need to get so we don't want all these details because all the details are already there only one detail is not there one column is not there that is customer id so you need to remove all the selection and just select only the customer id and you got the customer id you just drag it to the place where it should be there okay near to the customer name we got the customer id so actually now we can delete all the details about the customer and we can just keep the customer id because this customer id and the customer id of dim customer will be related so you can delete all the other related columns of this customer postal code also we can delete and here of course customer id is there you can rename it to, to have a better naming convention so next one we are going to link is products dim products so you can do once again a merge query here select the product name in the first table that means the fact table select the you can select the merge queries you can select the product name from the first table take the 
product table select the product name in the second table also and all the rows are matching and you can select okay now from this table you just need to get the product id and drag just drag it to the product so since we have the product id you can delete the product name and the category name so now we have just done the relation between customer and sales and products and sales now only thing that is remaining is dim location so for that once again you need to go to the merge queries so city name we have given with the id so you need to select the location and get the city name so everything is matching now you can select ok and from this table you can select only the city id and same thing you can drag it to near to the city or wherever it is and you can just delete the city and country name so now if you take the fact table it is very simple and it, it got reduced to the columns got reduced too much so we need the aggregated values all the three columns and other columns if you check this is with related to the product table this is with related to the customer table and this is with related to the location table so shipping and date shipping date and delivery date of course we need along with the aggregation so we have made this fact table very simple and now we will close and apply and see we are not going to create a date table here because the starting date of this shipping date and the delivery date will be differing so if you can create a date table if you know to create it with m a language you can create it other ways better to create it in the dax itself so we will close and apply so we have closed it now if you select it you can see city id is been related to fact sales as the city id customer customer id is been related to fact sales customer id and the same thing product id is been related to product id now if you want to create the calendar also you can create it you can just create the new table in the dax and give the name as calendar dim calendar equals to calendar auto if you give calendar auto the good thing is that it will take the minimum from both the table and it will get the maximum from both the table and it will create a calendar so this this will be better now we need to give the data type as date only and we can give the format as short date so now if you go to the model you have you got the calendar also and you can drag this calendar here and we can give a relationship with the shipping date at the same time we can give another relationship also with the delivery date but that won't be the, the, this delivery date if you want to get it you need to use user relationship in the dax function this uh, relationship won't be active but in this way we got the star schema model so this is how we are converting a flat model to a star schema model usually this won't happen usually we will be already having a star schema in the data warehousing before we, we, we before we get into this analytics but if suppose if you are not getting you can use this method to make it to a star schema model hope this is a, this was a good information have a nice day